Right, that's uh, today Monday. No, oh, today's Tuesday. So here's here's where I've come so far. It's been a lot of work to get these uh, cross beams and get everything level and plumb and phew, it's really awful. One of the things that makes it really difficult is the ground is very uneven. It's clumpy, it's concrete, it's earth, sand, grass, even clumps of even growing plants here, these bushes. And then one of the things, yeah, it's the the height towards the house, the difference is, well, there's the difference. That's about more than half a meter difference from the house to this point here on the on the left. So it's half a meter, and that's how I'm, comp I'm compensating for it, but it's definitely not easy. And so what I've done is I've put these pillars in place on top of concrete, so what I've dug in, and I found this concrete floor underneath. And then what I've done is I've... Um, basically glued with the uh, with concrete cement on the on the um, on the uh, uh, the concrete slabs there underneath they look something like this one here like this one here and uh, otherwise they are the foundation stone like that one right there that's sitting on a foundation stone that's a, a, a some kind of a granite red granite must be a couple of tons stone because they're actually quite massive they're two meters by one by one so very large there's an example right there and so what I'm going to be doing is putting a beam across here finishing it right there and or a joist I mean and then that joist is almost it's it's very level and uh, it's uh, sturdy stable that doesn't look very good. That has to be fixed a little bit, but it's the pillar is is good, strong, and uh, well well cemented in. Likewise, all these others, all of them are actually well cemented in. That's sitting on concrete, also well cemented in. I put two here because the one on the left uh, is for that joist, the support joist at the bottom. The one on the right will be uh, for <clears throat> um, a post that will uh, be matched with a post on the other side and one in the middle and those two those posts will be holding the roof which will be coming to just about that point that's three and a half meters from the wall so from that one right there it's three and a half meters to the wall and then it will be a roof coming from just beneath beneath the window and it peaks at that point and sweeps out all the way across no it sweeps out to the left and to the right so it inclines to the left and to the right but at the front it's so it's peaked at that point but at the front it's completely straight and level so that's what I'm going to be do, doing the same thing on that side and so therefore we'll have yes well there's one here but I'll put another one right beside it, another one of those, those, those chaps right there. I'll put it right there beside it, uh, corresponding to the other side, and then I'll have one in the middle also. So that these will be the three posts, and I have to align them very nicely because well, I just have to. So. That's basically the situation to now. The difficulty is, as you can see, is the height of the land towards the house, the indentations, the humps, the stone, the rock, uh, massive pieces of, uh, of uh, concrete that are broken, all of these things, plus all the growth, the earth, soil, there's also, there was a patch of sand on the right there. There's a patch of, not sand, but gravel. Uh, so that's all, it's all a lot of work, but it's coming along. At this point here, I'll be uh, carrying out the work as the, uh, that side. And then I'll be taking 120 all the way, is it 120? 
Yeah, and it's going to be more than 120. It's going to be 220 from that point right there out to the edge. 220. I'll have to get some more joists. 220. And uh, they it will be hanging off of these. This 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 one here. This joist right here. Uh, which means it'll be hanging over the edge by about a meter uh, from the joist. I mean, it'll be hanging uh, uh, from the joist about a meter. But uh, because I will be able to use the foundation or the fundament, you see it's granite it's right there. There it is right there. Uh, so I will be able to have good support on that. No problem at all whatsoever. But I think I don't have enough material. I think I have to get more 2 by 4s maybe 5-6 pieces. Yeah, that's it. That's the situation for the time being. So, I'm going to do a little bit of searching for doors. Toodle pip.